Let's take a look at a book here, and this is a book by a single author. So this could be very straightforward, right? We have the author's name. So again, last name first, then the first name, then the middle name. Again, remember, we're always using the initial and a period and a space. We never write out the whole first name. We never write out the whole middle name. Here is the year. Computer Addiction, A Study of Computer Dependency. This is the name of the book. And you can see that the name of the book in this case is going to be, again, lower case, following the lower case. Now, if you have a colon or if you have a question mark or some other punctuation, and after that, that next letter will be capitalized. That's kind of a regular English rule, but here we need to pay attention because it's very easy to get confused. And then we go ahead and we have a period at the end of that title. Now we're going to have the city, London, England, so comma, city, colon, publisher. Taylor Francis is the publishing company. What if this was an electronic version of this book? Then we would follow almost the same, except at the end, we would say here, this is the DX Reader version. So here we, you see this? Bracket, open bracket, close bracket. What are those brackets for? Those brackets are for special information extra information. So you may say something like the Kindle version or here the DX version or this may be the web version. Something special that doesn't fit with APA but is good for the user, uh, the reader, to help them see where this source came from. And then we have the URL. So right there is the whole URL and we do not, no period at the end. No, no period at the end because we've already finished over here. This is kind of the ending and then this retrieve from is extra information. Okay, let's look at another example here. Chiraldi, that's the last name. Then we have the first name, the middle name, the year. The Post Traumatic Stress Disorder source book. And again, we have a colon inside the book name. We copy it from the book. We don't make that up. And here, what do we have? We have the brackets again, the open bracket and the closed bracket. What are they for? Giving us some special information. In this case, the information is Adobe Digital Editions version. This is an Adobe uh, copyrighted, uh, 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 copy protected, I should say, version. This is just to help users see exactly where did you get it from. And here's the DOI. Now, you have to have this Adobe Digital Editions version? No. Nobody says you have to have it. This is extra. That's what the brackets are for. Extra to try to help the reader find exactly what version of the book you have. What if you have an electronic book, for example, that has no publication date? Is that possible? Well, I think the key here is anything's possible. There are many different kinds of ways to publish these days. So yeah, it's possible. What do you do? Well, no date, and you use this ND. Small N, small D, period, period, no space in there at all. So apostrophe, I mean, uh, um, parentheses, N, period, D, period, parentheses, no space in there at all. Space here space here, but no space inside. ND means no date. There is no date for this. Is that possible? Well, if you don't have a date, this is one way to do it. And then here is the name, Egoism and the Crisis of Western Values. And here we have Retrieve From, because this is online. That's one reason it doesn't have a date. I found it very annoying that there is a lot of information online that actually does not have a publication date. I do try to look very carefully though, try your best to find a date if you can, and if you can't, well then, and do.